So we've all been there. A car in the workshop with a headlight, indicator, blower motor, or any other electrical component not working. Where do we start? DTCs, power, ground? Or do we just throw parts at it until the problem goes away? Of course, the answer will depend on the diagnostic strategy we use. But at some point, we need to check the power and ground circuits to see where the fault has occurred. We also need some idea of the best tools to use when checking these circuits. Hi, I'm Clint. Welcome to Automate. Let's start with a common workshop occurrence. A vehicle is presented with an inoperative headlight. Nine times out of 10, it's just a bulb, right? But what do we do if we replace the bulb and the headlight still doesn't work? We need to check the power and ground circuits to determine where the fault is. And the most effective way to do this is by looking at voltage drop. So why can't we just use a test light? They're simple, easy to use, and I've got four of them in my toolbox. Well, the simple answer is that a test light will illuminate even if there is a very small voltage present, and it cannot tell you how much voltage is present. The multimeter is the best tool for the job. It's very accurate, easy to use and read. To find out more and access the most advanced technical training available, visit our website and unlock your automotive potential today.